Hi guys, Donna Kapalitska, International New Artist and Educator here and we end with Brittany to do a beautiful Christmas set of the news. If this is the first of the tutorial you have ever seen me doing, check my previous ones where I'm paying, like doing a full set of the sculpted news or full set of the uh, news on tips. And uh, once you have built up the news, this is the next part which we are going to do. And I'm actually pretty excited, but at the same time a bit stressed because we are going to do my favorite stuff. You guys know I hate painting the lines. Uh, so we're going to do a check design for the Christmas, but I think it looks so awesome. And I just have to do it. Like I like to challenge myself and, and I can't wait actually for the finished results. <laughs> so I'm just using 173, which is a Tic Tac White. And it's a really beautiful shade of the white. Like absolutely, I love it. On those nails. And then the other ones are going to be a beautiful red. And when painting the red nail polish, you have no room for a mistake. Because it stains the fingers and the skin around it really strongly. So I tend to hold my breath when I'm painting the red gel polish. Cook it. Okay, and here just so it's not boring, we are going to swap the colors. I bet you will be all busy with the Christmas designs and the clients popping in and requesting so many different beautiful things. I actually really enjoy doing a Christmas in nails. Like there's so many different things you could create it on the nails. Brittany has a really short nail beds, but we went for a very long coffin shape. Just because she takes a good care of her nails. Change. So the pinky nails, I will go for a beautiful sugar. On this one, we are going to do the check design. Change. The reason why I'm painting um, not all nails at the same time is because we have used the baby wipes on those nails before the painting and I have introduced a little bit of the oils and I can see the gel polish running away from me. Change. <laughs> so never do that but of course we had to take a picture of them how we have sculpted those nails so that's why I have cleaned her hands and that was a really big mistake.
change. I can see it like I have applied it everywhere and by the time it did cure it did run away from the edges so that's because there are some oils on the nails and it can happen with the natural nails as well so in a case like this you really want to de dehydrate them uh, properly but even sometimes giving a dehydration it just doesn't doesn't work because those oils went really deeply in change then the red one going on in here i love doing the tutorials guys for you from the salon just because there is always so many different things which can happen which i can show you how to deal with them as well because i think for me the most stressful and the most difficult time was when i was a beginner nail tech and things was happening and i didn't knew it how to fix them I was embarrassed in front of the clients as well, change. And now it doesn't matter what is happening on the nails. I kind of feel confident because I know how to deal with it and how to sort out any problems. Okay, paint those red. Cap the free edge. Change. I have just moved the light and I think it's a little bit better. If I can squeeze my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I'm sorry guys, trying to find the best position for you. That's it. Awesome. So we have got, uh, we've got all the snails painted. And now on this snail we are going to do the sugar. On this snail we are going to do the jumper. So I'm just applying the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. Through the entire nail. And then the same on this one. This new we are going to sprinkle with the sugar. And for sugar you can use any kind of glitter really and i'm going to use pixel effect which is no i'm not going to use the pixel effect i changed my mind i'm going to use this pixel effect so this one is called Śnieżka, which is snow white this will go better now separate the nails just so the others are not close by other side And then sprinkle entire nail with the sugar. So for sugar, guys, you can use any kind of glitter, like any fine glitter. Perfect change. Okay, so I apply my white and then top coat on this one for a knitted look. Change. And we can start painting a check on this nail. So for check, I'm going to use a drop of the black 
and for black I'm going to use the foil design gel and my D liner brush but you need to mix your black with a drop of the um, top coat for a really nice kind of see-through black so I'm just mixing my black so it's not as strong and now we are going to paint this check design so the first line is going to be a really nice and decent The reason why I didn't want a too strong black is just uh, it would be too heavy and that's why I have added a drop of the top coat. Perfect change. Okay, sugar going on this finger. So a top coat again. Sprinkle entire nail, remove the excess change. And then we are going to paint another line. And another one just a little bit lower. This is definitely so Christmassy. <laughs> Ideally, with the thicker brush, you will be able to paint it kind of uh, quicker. You wouldn't have to go as many times. This one is so thin brush that I have to do it a couple of times. Okay. Going to make it even a little bit thicker. Same for this one. 
nice and thick nice and thick okay so that's our base for the for the check design now i can take the paint on french gel and we can start painting the next part of it so now for a change we are going to paint very thin lines Actually, guys, I'm just going to get rid of that. It's so difficult to paint it with the gloves. So. So hold your breath and paint very nice and fine line. You have to really watch it how you paint it on the places where you've got your black painted because that's the places where you can have a almost a wee jump change That's why the check designs are really difficult because you cannot pull it like a one line. Okay, now we are going to paint another line. And another one. Change. So it's already start looking pretty nice. And I suggest you always kind of cure it each line you do. I think I would be quicker to paint a teddy bear or a Santa than the check design. Okay, so another line. Definitely I would be quicker to paint it. <laughs> awesome change. <laughs> And now on the other side, we are going to do the line with lots of tiny lines. <laughs> so let's don't beat. Just the tip of my brush and I'm creating lots of wee lines. Don't put too much product on the uh, full brush because then the brush is 
harder to control. Okay, change. This task is pretty difficult for it because you have to imagine this line going there. Again, dip in. Only a little product at the tip of your brush. Change. And now we have to do the same on the top. Okay, so I'm trying to keep the even distance from the line which is on uh, below. Another one, right in the middle. I think my model is scared to breathe as well. <laughs> She's so still. And another one. And then, ta-da! That's our check design finished. Change your hands. Okay, we are going to do it exactly the same in here. And to make this design successful, you really need to work it now with the tip of the brush. I really think this cute design for Christmas. Perfect change. Okay, on this new we are going to do this jumper design. So I'm picking up again the paint on French gel. And we are painting number fours. So all this uh, set of the nails is a very geometric one. And a more swirl girl, flower girl. Not the geometric designs at all. I don't think so, at least. So again, I'm trying to break it through down the easy shapes. And this one is like number fours. And I'm actually glad I'm sometimes challenging myself as well. Especially with the check design. <laughs> One decent size line. And again, decent size line.
dotting tool and couple dots on the side. Awesome, just sprinkle it. So I'm using a Mermine powder for this one. Chinch. And do it exactly the same in here. Now, because we have used the top coat and this is a high shine no wipe top gel, the glitter is not going to stick into the entire nail, it will only stick into the paint on French gel. And yes, paint on French gel can stay on with no top coat and it's no trouble at all. The clients can wash their hair, their hands, they can do the dishes, there is no excuses. <laughs> I love sometimes I'm getting ladies like and uh, especially at first uh, times when they're getting their nails done I was like oh, no dishes for me so it's no no you can do the dishes with them no bother and I think they are a bit disappointed then because maybe that was a good excuse to don't do the dishes but <laughs> I hope you didn't tell your boyfriend that you can't do the dishes because of the nails. Because <laughs> then we are in blame. You know, like. <laughs> Cameraman is good, guys. Like, I can't complain. Like, he's, he's doing a housework. He's doing dishes. <laughs> I really can't complain at all. Okay, I'm just going to put a couple gems. Oh, I have made mess of this one. See, this is guys what's happening when you mess it with your glitter. So I have just quickly removed uh, any glitter which was on this nail and repaint it. So we can do a candy design or a snowflake. I don't know. What would you like? The candy design or the snowflake? Mm, I'll I let you decide. <laughs> One time. <laughs> Whichever you prefer. I trust you more. <laughs> so whatever you want. Change. Oh gosh, guys. What do we want? Do we want a snowflake or do we want a candy cane? Yeah, oh my goodness on the farm we've got the snow on the top so so now I give you snowflake so I'm just painting a small dot And we will stick a couple of gems on this set as well. I think it will look pretty nice. And then again, dotting tool.
and the dotting tool. Change. <laughs> One line, second line, one second. They are all sort of different snowflakes, like which you could paint. And then the dotting tool again. Change. I of course need to put some sparkle to it as well. <laughs> so we are going to apply a couple gems. And for the gems I'm going to use the uh, base gel. So a drop of the base gel and we are going to put a beautiful snowflake, uh, not snowflake, a beautiful gem in the middle of the snowflake and we'll put a couple in here as well. So I've got my crystals. In a snowflake and then I think this one will look pretty so I drop more of the base gel because obviously the bigger crystals you've got the more base you want to apply it And then a couple smaller ones. Okay, get them into nice place. And I'm not sure about this gem now. All my hard work with the check and now hide it with hidden with the gem. I'm not going to put it in. That would be just so pointless. <laughs> I know it's a beautiful gem. Oh gosh. See guys, I'm sometimes stuck as well and I don't know what should I do. No, I'm only going to keep those smaller ones. I don't want to, to hide my hard work, hard work change. <laughs> we'll do some blinny set next time. I think it's a too nice check to, to hide it. And then another drop of the base. And drop of the base. Perfect change. And now I just show you the final look because uh, obviously we need to remove the bits and pieces of the glitter for the set to show up how nice it is. Now I'm just applying the top coat and I'm going around the crystals. I don't want to put the top coat on top of the crystals so they're nice and shiny. 
Okay, and then we have to protect all this design with the top coat as well. Change. Same on this one. So I hope guys you have really enjoyed this tutorial with the check where I kind of like oh gosh what should I do check or not check <laughs> uh, but yeah I wanted to show you something different so it's not all snowman's Santa's flowers uh, but something a little bit more geometric as well yeah now we just have to cook them and then I show you how the sugar parts looks as well and what you have to do it for them to stay on so a couple seconds longer for the top coat to be nice and shiny. Hide my gems away. I also give you um, um, links in the descriptions of the each video uh, with the products I have used. So this one again, the one on the pinky, that's the pixel from the Indigo and this one is Snow White. Change. Close my product. And then face brush remove the excess of the glitter okay so it's coming off from the white part remove the excess of the glitter and i always like to take a new file and just give them a scratch like remove any ones which might be catching okay so just file it like this and then this is absolutely fine to wear it so that's this hand completely finished we just have to clean it and apply the uh, cuticle oil so I will just clean it nice and then apply the cuticle oil perfect I take your other hand and that's the second hand as well so i'm just going to do exactly the same remove the excess of the glitter so we've got the jumper nice and visible and same on this one give it a couple of the scratches and then clean it because once we clean it everything becomes much more beautiful like much more nicer and then apply the cuticle oil don't flood clients cuticles uh, with the cuticle oil it just doesn't even look nice on the picture so i'm always kind of applying the cuticle oil in and then remove the excess and then those nails are ready for a for a picture so yeah guys i hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial uh, glittery hacks and bye for now